Hello and welcome to KMTV, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Thursday, June the 11th. A lorry driver is still being questioned by police after 13 vehicles were involved in a crash in Southborough yesterday afternoon. Nicola Everett has more details. Well, an investigation is still going on into exactly how the smash happened on London Road at half three. More than six police cars, two ambulances, a fire service vehicle and the air ambulance were all at the scene. Firefighters had to release a man and a woman who were trapped inside their wrecked vehicle and three people were taken to hospital. The road was shut for for seven hours to allow forensic teams to assess the scene. London's well-known Oyster card could soon be used by commuters in Kent as part of a possible shake-up of who handles our train services. The County Council are in talks with Transport for London about transferring metro journeys from South Eastern to London Overground Railway. One of the benefits of a transfer should be the introduction of Oyster Card to Gravesend and to Seven Oaks and also Dunton Green. And obviously that would bring to passengers from those stations all the benefits that London rail travellers have, being able to tap in and tap out and have Oyster Cards which give you um, a better price per mile for travel. So it would definitely be a win-win for passengers from those stations as well as protecting the interests of rail travellers everywhere in the county. In other news, a man and two women are still being held on suspicion of murder after a man's body was found at a flat in Maidstone. Police were called to Rocky Hill Terrace on Monday afternoon and say the 69-year-old may have been undiscovered for several days. Two boys, one just 11 years old, have been arrested after a 90-year-old woman was attacked and robbed in Cowgate Hill in Dover. And there's more bizarre summer weather on the way for Kent with severe thunderstorms and heavy rain forecast over the next 24 hours. It's all thanks to warm, humid air coming over from France. And finally, with the news that Wales is considering a ban on vaping in enclosed public spaces, we went to find out how people in Rochester react to someone vaping indoors. Graham Stossard reports. The smoking ban has been in effect since 2006. And since then, if you've wanted to light up in your local pub or a restaurant, your favourite cafe, you've had to go outside to some kind of smoking area. But with the introduction of vaping, all of that changed. Technically, you could vape anywhere. But more businesses now are starting to say no. So what do Kent shopkeepers think about it? We tried to find out. Snap. Hmm. <laughs> How long have you been on yours? Not too long, not too long actually. How about you? Uh, just over four months. Oh, um, do you mind people smoking in a shop? Um, you're the first person that's come in here to, and done it. So, I mean, I personally don't do it in here because I mm. treat it as a cigarette still, so I go outside. OK. Otherwise, so the shopkeeper's not too bothered about it, but what about when a customer comes in? Jack, you're smoking, aren't you? I use one of those. What do you reckon? Do you reckon um, they should ban it from shops and things? I don't know, because it promotes smoking, doesn't it? So, you know, it makes young people want it. Apparently it's supposed so to be really trendy, isn't it? I don't think that they should ban it like in pubs and stuff, but maybe in like in shopping shops centres and, and things, things like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't know, I don't know. It's up to them, isn't it? It's worth noting that those I spoke to were smokers and that some other establishments I went into didn't mention it at all. But perhaps that in itself says something. From a very unscientific standpoint at least, it seems vaping isn't all that taboo. For me though, it's not particularly a habit I want to start. This is Graham Stothard for KMTV. There's more local news on KMFM and you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, but that's it from KMTV.